Back on Inside Tennessee, really one of our favorite moments here. Politician of the Year in 2024. Heck, we haven't even had the first day of 2024 <laughs> yet. But Susan our knows. Crystal balls. Who, yeah. Yes, it is. Who it will be, the winner, the politician overall of 2024 will be. Congressman Tim Burchett. The winner, okay. Because he's been getting all this negative talk lately from among some Republicans and certainly from the Democrats. They hope to beat him. Kevin McCarthy has got $118 million. He's probably going to spend some of it to try to beat Tim Burchett. At least that's the rumors. Tim's going to win, and he'll be as popular as he's ever been. Don, your winner of 2024. Well, I'm, just, I'm going to rebuttal Susan for just one second. Um, it, it, uh, Tim will win, likely, uh, unless the Republicans find somebody solid to run against him. There have been some names floated about that would be very good candidates against him. But he will win, but he will win by a historically low margin for this congress congressional district. And, and so I, it's hard for me to even think of him, even from Susan's lens as a winner. But her call, she's, we've already seen some slippage. The show, anyway, <laughs> might win a Gavin Newsom. Your winner uh, is Gavin Newsom. I think in 2024, he is going to take center stage. He's going to be a major part of the Democratic National Convention. He has, he did, a, a, Susan, I know disagrees with this, did a, a brilliant job dismantling DeSantis in a debate uh, in 23. And, and it just, uh, he, he I, I can already feel it over here and I'm, I will take every bit of it. And But I think Gavin Newsom really will be the future face of the party and uh, a one of the faces of the party, you know, along with Cory Booker and Hakeem Jeffries and some others. But uh, it, the party finally is changing and it is time for some of the old heads to go home. California's in such great shape. I can't wait for him to run the country. Certain parts of it are, are <laughs> and it's happened before and a couple of them have been your presidents. Mm. I can think of Dick Nixon and Ronnie Reagan. There both was a yours. lot better shape than it is now. Oh, uh, look at look at uh, Richard Nixon. It was a lot better shape then. Yes, okay. California was. Yes. Uh, your overall loser, Don. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, my overall loser. It well, can't be it, me. Uh, no, it, 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 I've got to go back to Donald Trump. I mean, okay. it, look, it is, uh, it, it is. I, I clearly, as anybody that watched the show knows, that I, I've not stood for hardly anything that that man did when he was president, or certainly what he does now when he's running again. But the thought of an American president being indicted, and I believe by this time next year will be convicted and likely will be sentenced on one or more of the cases he's facing, is a sad day for our country. Susan, your loser of 2024. Got to be Joe Biden. Okay. He's not. He's going to get dumped. And he may not be expecting it at this point in time, but the talk is out there. I so think it's going to happen. What will be the overall issue? Oh, gosh. I still think it's going to be abortion. Mm -hmm. It's, it's got to be the From the issue local, state, to national level, Everywhere. it's going to dominate. Yeah. Okay. Don, how about you? Um, uh, again, with Susan, it's going to be abortion. It really blends also into uh, the issue of, of what happens with Trump and how that ends up playing all the way out. But uh, again, abortion has, has become so pervasive <clears throat> of standing uh, both for, for what it is and as a proxy for so many other values of middle America, not just those on the left, but, but you know, people that see themselves as generally conservative, people that see themselves as moderately uh, progressive. Uh, it really cuts across all spectrums and people are like hey this may be a bellwether issue for us and we're gonna have to vote differently than the people that are pushing the hard restrictions John for context on that we look to the states of Kentucky to Ohio to Kansas so more traditionally conservative states um, and they uh, fell differently when it came to that issue. And that was an attention getter to realize that in those states, people felt very strongly about that. So, and, and we've seen that evolving and it's not going away. I just want to throw one other thing into the mix in terms of the issue, the economy. We think we've got a soft landing that's coming in 24 mm -hmm. from, you know, the scary inflation that we saw. If we do not, that will be the only thing that really matters. Mm -hmm. You pointed this out. Uh, we only have about a minute left, but we are going to see a crowded ballot and it's coming yeah. soon. Yeah. The March primary is right around the corner, but it's time to study. Uh, yeah, uh, people really need to be paying attention, um, not just in Knox County, and that's a big ballot, but outside Knox County, you all have other uh, issues you're going to be dealing with, other candidates. It is important that people pay attention. There are significant county commission races that are on the ballot. 
school board, we have some significant significant offices, and that's just local. You've also got other stuff too. Yeah, yeah. in 2023, we saw fewer than two in 10 voters who could decide an election actually come out and vote. So let's hope that changes in 2024. We appreciate you tuning in to what is one of our favorite shows of the year, and we hope you have a great start to 2024. We'll see you next week right here on Inside Tennessee.